rental housing rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be just one minute rental housing i repeat rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will be facilitated in ppp mode with vgf support and commitment from anchor industries shipping industry ownership leasing and flagging reforms will be implemented to improve the share of indian shipping industry and generate more employment critical mineral mission we will set up a critical mineral mission mission for domestic production recycling of critical minerals and overseas acquisition of critical mineral assets its mandate will include technology development skilled workforce extended producer responsibility uh, extended producer responsibility framework and a suitable financing mechanism offshore mining of minerals our government will launch the auction of the first tranche of offshore blocks for mining building on the exploration already carried out digital public infrastructure applications turning to the services sector i propose development of dpi applications at population scale for productivity gains business opportunities and innovation by the private sector these are planned in the areas of credit e-commerce education health law and justice logistics msme service delivery and urban governance integrated technology platform for ibc ecosystem an integrated technology platform will be set up for improving the outcomes under the insolvency bankruptcy code for achieving consistency transparency timely processing and better oversight for all stakeholders voluntary closure of llps the services of the center for processing accelerated corporate exit cpas will be extended for voluntary closure of llps to reduce the closure times national company law tribunals the ibc has resolved more than 1000 companies resulting in direct recovery of 3.3 lakh crore to creditors 3.3 lakh crore rupees to creditors in addition 28000 cases involving over 10 lakh crore rupees have been disposed of even prior to admission appropriate changes to the ibc reforms and strengthening of the tribunal and appellate tribunals will be initiated to speed up insolvency resolution additional tribunals will be established out of those some will be notified to decide cases exclusively under the companies act debt recovery steps for reforming and strengthening debt recovery tribunals will be taken additional tribunals will be established to speed up recovery priority 5 urban development cities as growth hubs working with states our government will facilitate development of cities as growth hubs this will be achieved through economic and transit planning and orderly development of peri urban areas utilizing town planning schemes creative redevelopment of cities for creative brownfield redevelopment of existing cities with a transformative impact our government will formulate a framework for enabling policies market based mechanisms and regulation transit oriented development transit oriented development plans for 14 large cities with a population above 30 lakh will be formulated along with an implementation and financing strategy urban housing under the pm awas yojana urban 2.0 housing needs of 1 crore urban poor and middle class families will be addressed with an investment of 10 lakh crore rupees 
This will include the central assistance of 2.2 lakh crore rupees in the next five years, a provision of interest subsidy to facilitate loans at affordable rates is also envisaged. In addition, enabling policies and regulations for efficient and transparent rental housing, transparent rental housing markets with enhanced availability will also be put in place. Water supply and sanitation. In partnership with state uh, governments and multilateral development banks, we will promote water supply, sewage treatments, and solid waste management projects and services for 100 large cities through bankable projects. These projects will also envisage uses, use of treated water for irrigation and filling up of tanks in nearby areas. Street markets. Building on the success of PM Swanadi, PM Swanadi scheme in transforming the lives of street vendors, our government envisions a scheme to support each year over the next five years the development of 100 weekly huts or street food hubs in select cities. Stamp duty. We will encourage states which continue to charge high stamp duty to moderate the rates for all and, all, and also consider further lowering duties for properties purchased by women. This reform will be made an essential component of urban development schemes. Priority six, energy security, energy transition. In the interim budget, I had announced our strategy to sustain high and more resource efficient economic growth, along with the energy security in terms of availability, accessibility, and affordability. We will bring out a policy document on appropriate energy transition pathways that balances the imperatives of employment, growth, and environmental sustainability. PM Surya Gar Muft Bijli Yojana. PM Surya Gar Muft Bijli Yojana. In line with the announcement in the interim budget, in line with the announcement in the interim budget, PM Surya Gar Muft Bijli Yojana has been launched to install rooftop solar plants to enable to enable one crore households obtain free electricity up to 300 units every month. The scheme has generated remarkable response with more than 1.28 crore registrations and 14 lakh applications, and we will further encourage it. Pumped storage policy. A policy for promoting pumped storage projects will be brought out for electricity storage and facilitating smooth integration of the growing share of renewable energy with its variable and intermittent nature in the overall energy mix. Research and development of small and modular nuclear reactors. Nuclear energy is expected to form a very significant part of the energy mix for Vikasit Bharat. Towards that pursuit, our government will partner with the private sector for, one, setting up Bharat small reactors, two, research and development of Bharat small modular reactor, and three, research and development of new, newer technologies for nuclear energy. The R&D funding announced in the interim budget will be made available for this sector also. Advanced, ultra super, advanced ultra supercritical thermal power plants. The development of indigenous technology for advanced ultra super critical thermal power plants with much higher efficiency has been completed. A joint venture between 
NTPC and BHEL will set up a full-scale 800 megawatt commercial plant using AUSC technology. The government will provide the required fiscal support. Moving forward, development of indigenous capacity for the production of high-grade steel and other advanced metallurgy materials for these plants will result in strong spin-off benefits for the economy. Roadmap for hard to abate industries. A roadmap for moving the hard to abate industries from energy efficiency targets to emission targets will be formulated. Appropriate regulations for transition of these industries from the current perform, achieve, and trade mode to Indian carbon market mode will be put in place. Support to traditional micro and small industries. An investment grade energy audit of traditional micro and small industries in 60 clusters, including brass and ceramic, will be facilitated. Financial support will be provided for shifting them to cleaner forms of energy and implementation of energy efficiency measures. The scheme will be replicated in another 100 clusters in the next phase. Priority seven, infrastructure investment by central government. Significant investment the central government has made over the years in building and improving infrastructure has had a strong multiplier effect on the economy. We will endeavor to maintain strong fiscal support for infrastructure over the next five years in conjunction with imperatives of other priorities and fiscal consolidation. This year, I have provided 11,11,111 11, crore rupees for capital expenditure. This would be 3.4% of our GDP infrastructure investment by state governments. We will encourage states to provide support of similar scale for infrastructure subject to their development priorities. A provision of 1.5 lakh crore rupees for long-term interest-free loans have been made this year also to support the states in their resource allocation. Private investment in infrastructure. Investment in infrastructure by private sector will be promoted through viability gap funding and enabling policies and regulations. A market-based financing framework will be brought out. Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Phase four of the PMGSY will be launched to provide all weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations, which have become eligible in view of their population increase. Irrigation and flood mitigation. Bihar has frequently suffered from floods, many of them originating outside the country. Plans to build flood control structures in Nepal are yet to progress. Our government, through the accelerated irrigation benefit program and other sources, will provide financial support for projects with estimated cost of 11,500 crore rupees, such as the Kosi Michi Intrastate Link and 20 other ongoing and new schemes, including barrages, river pollution abatement, and irrigation projects. In addition, survey and investigation of COSI related flood mitigation and irrigation projects will be undertaken. Assam, Assam grapples with floods every year by the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries. 
originating outside India. We will provide assistance to Assam for flood management and, and related projects. Himachal Pradesh suffered extensive losses due to floods last year. Our government will provide assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation through multilateral development assistance. जदि आपन को आम भिडटी भल लगला तेब चेल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करने को जमा भी बुलां नहीं